Hello, my name is Fire, and whilst I've been making videos and streaming, I've had quite a few questions about how I make my custom textures, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, let's get right into it. First thing to do is to download the blank texture pack that I will have linked in my description. Once you have downloaded the blank texture pack, you want to click on it, extract all, open the blank, go to assets, minecraft, MC Patcher, CIT, and let's start with the sword, and we're going to do a livid dagger. So the first thing we want to do is rename this to livid underscore dagger. Open this, rename the item texture to livid underscore dagger, and rename the item file to livid underscore dagger. Next, we want to open the item file, and here... We already know that the Livid Dagger is an iron sword, however in order to check what the item is, we can open up the Hypixel wiki and type in the item. For today we're doing Livid Dagger, so you can see it's an iron sword. And then you want to also scroll down and look at item metadata to see Livid underscore Dagger in all capitals. This will be important in just a moment. Going back to our properties file, we want to type iron underscore sword, that's not how you spell sword. Sword in non capitals. Texture. Livid. Underscore. Dagger. And here is where we want to put in the item metadata. So in all capitals. Livid. Underscore. Dagger. Save. Can now close this. Double check over everything that it's fine. Oh, it's not. We haven't made a texture. Open up paint.net, which is the application that I use, it will be linked in the description, and make a highly detailed sword. Perfect. Now this all matches, this is Livid Dagger, Livid Dagger, Livid Dagger. Open Minecraft, reload with F3 plus T, once you have the texture pack on, as you can see, I already have it on. And Livid Dagger is now our weird stick thing. As you can see here, this is now a custom texture. Let's do one for a bow next. I'm going to choose the artisanal short bow. We know that its texture is a bow. If we search up artisanal in the skyblock wiki, click on artisanal short bow, and go down to item metadata, here you can see this. Once again, renaming this, rename artisanal underscore shortbow. Once we have this renamed to artisanal shortbow, we're going to open it. Let's start this time with our texture. Once again, opening with paint.net. I'm going to make a highly detailed bow texture. Turning off anti-aliasing. Curve. Line. Arrow. Bow. Also, once again, we want to rename this to artisanal underscore shortbow, and the same for this one. Opening up the properties file, item minecraft bow, texture dot bow underscore standby, artisanal underscore shortbow, and here put in the item ID. Save. Once again, going back to the game, reloading our textures. Oh dear lord, what have I done? What have I done wrong? I've done and so, here, I made a mistake. I spelled it wrong. And, well, actually spelled it correctly. This is teaching you the importance of why it's careful to look over your work and make sure you're actually doing things correctly. Otherwise, you end up in an awkward situation where you do that. But there we go. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I spent hours of work on this. Now, you might be wondering, how do you do weapons that aren't normal Minecraft weapons? For example, scythes, wands, staffs. Simple. Take one of these, copy it, paste it, rename it. Fire underscore veil underscore wand. We're going to open this. I'm going to go back to the wiki, search up fire veil. Open this, look down for the metadata. 
says Fire Veil Wand, and its base texture is a Blaze Rod. Going back into our Livid Dagger here, I'm going to want to rename this to Fire underscore Yes, you can just copy and paste it each time. I'm just stupid. Once you have those all renamed, click on here, blaze, underscore, rod. Delete this. Fire Veil Wand, and here. The same thing, but in capitals. Save. Let's make a texture. Now, this one's going to be very unique. Easy way to clear the board, do that, set the opacity to zero, backspace, the opacity is still on zero. I know, I know, no need to, I know, genius, no need to look at me like that. Reload our textures. Realise that during the process of reloading the textures, I don't have my fire veil wand in my inventory. Where's my fire veil wand? Is it in a backpack maybe? Oh, there it is, there's my Cheeto. And look, we have a Cheeto. And just about the same goes for anything. Emerald Blade. Texture, Emerald. Models are a whole different thing. Don't need to go into that one. You want a Scythe, Glacial Scythe? Item, Diamond Hoe. ID, Glacial Scythe. However, if you get lost, or you need help, or you just can't figure out what to happen, either one, message me, and I'm happy to try and help you out, or two, you could look in something like Firth Sky, which is how I originally learned to make textures in the first place, is by simply looking in Firth Sky and look at what weapon you're trying to make. For example, Midas is a difficult one to learn, especially as it has lots of different textures for each different stage of the weapon, and each one being a little bit complicated. That will conclude today's little lesson on how to make custom textures for Minecraft 1.8.9. Now, if anyone's interested in learning how to, for example, animate them, then let me know and I might make a follow-up video, or just DM me privately, and once again, I'm happy to help. But, until the next video, have a wonderful day, goodbye.